Hey guys, it's Dick and me. And welcome to the next video of Dick and Me's Diary. Thank you for coming to watch me today. Hey, <laughs> yeah, it's been one year I had my ass to death. I'm so excited. Like, oh more. I'm yeah, I'm still standing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, God turned it. Like, the devil tried me, but guess what? Your girl is still here standing. I don't know if we say your girl or your boy. We don't know you. Anyways. I'm your girl, DK me, and I'm still standing. Woo, that was a lot for me to say. So one year is gone. Many more years to go. Yeah, so one year is out. Uh, how do I feel right now? Hey, how are you feeling? Tell us. Talk to us. Let me interview my babe. So um physically, obviously, my scar is there as you can see. Boldly, but it's reduced. Not as it used to be. My arm scars, uh, see them, see them them the three of them are still there but it's not as it used to be and i've gotten used to them my scars make me beautiful i'm like anybody else uh -huh. yeah my facial reactions they're still there which is the reason why i don't have makeup on right now i can't have makeup on i'm still on that path we'll get to that again in the future so yeah and um by the way as you can see the girl is fairer as you can see what other things I wanted to my life? I actually did not write anything for this video. I'm just here to have a chit chat, sort of, kind of. Uh, what else I wanted to my life? Oh, I have a new job. I finished NYLZ. I'm back in Lagos. I've left Edo State. What else? What else? I think that's it. The main reason why I don't try to do this video is mental health. Mental health. Listen, tell your neighbor mental health. I'll say, tell your neighbor mental health. <laughs> I don't even know I'm so happy today. Anyways, yeah, mental health. I was depressed. I can boldly say now that I am a recovered, depressed human being. Now I realize that uh, mental health, depression, we don't really talk about it in Nigeria. And that is very, very sad. And the problem about mental health is it's not quantifiable. It's not like hypertension that you have blood pressure to measure. It's not like diabetes that you have blood sugar to measure. Mental health, you don't really have like diagnostic features to look at so you just be there and mentally depressed and you wouldn't know and i've realized that you really don't know you are depressed until you're no longer depressed should i say that again so you can write it down should i say it again one more time <laughs> you really don't know you are depressed until you're no longer depressed i'm not saying that as a medical profession i'm just saying as what i experienced or what i've seen most people that talk about postpartum depression or talk about post-trauma depression talk about it in the past tense i believe you see someone come out and say right now i'm depressed it's always i was depressed because when you are really depressed you really don't know i mean i didn't know i was depressed until now i had a huge scar on my forehead i had lost weight i was dark i wasn't feeling myself i was completely depressed i mean i didn't want to step out of my house that's how bad it was i didn't want to talk to anybody i am a I was a huge social media person, especially Instagram, and I didn't post a video for a year, a picture for a year. My WhatsApp picture was the same for a year. I didn't want anybody to see me. I was not happy in my own skin. I was not feeling myself. It was like, what is this? And people were not insensitive. God, Nigerians can be really insensitive though. Like, mm, I know you want to say, I know you're trying to be nice to me, but you're really not nice because she don't say, Oh, so why did she scar for a day? So why did she find what I tell you? Do you call her a Really? I know I hear why. I know life being, I, I appreciate life, I appreciate life being, but then <sighs> I'm not vain, but like, how you tell me that? I should be crazy about this life, but I'm not fine again. How can you say that to a human being? Like, how? People should be sensitive. I know you were trying to make me appreciate life, but. <sighs> I, could, I was depressed, like, I didn't want to go out, I didn't want to do anything and the worst part is there was really nobody for, to me to, for me to talk to another reason why I didn't post any video on YouTube I mean the second to the last video I did was the one I did about um, Miss DSF and I don't know where the person was doing it from love for DSF I don't know if any person was doing it for hatred for me, small me, I don't know but someone posted a very nasty comment and it got to me so bad and I was in a state of depression quote unquote and I don't lost it then I was like, I'm not posting videos again, I'm done with YouTube shout out to my sister, I told her this and she was like, let's post a video together that's why the next video I did was with her however, 
I was, it was a personal thing I was fighting within me that I couldn't really, I helping me was not even the solution to it. I don't know if you guys could feel in that video of Judy Baby Brother, I wasn't just in the, this wasn't just the original they kept me this just lazy crazy all over your face they came me you get i wasn't just feeling it yeah i could put this i was depressed and i would like i feel i feel like i just got out of it myself i don't know if i'm talking to someone today that is watching this that just faced something traumatic either death either being set in accident anything it could be my sister my brother in the Lord. you are the one that can get yourself out of this the country you are in, except it's like deep, deep depression that you need to get people to talk to. But when a country where mental health depression is seen at the point of weakness, where if you are sad, people around you are telling, Kilo she, uh, she will come an accident in it. Like, there's always a fighting for who is struggling more, who is suffering more. Like, my suffering is not enough for me. Okay, now I had accidents now. I had a surgery, my hand is moving. Someone had them, oh, see, I do pull a lump or one potato away. I'm not shading up with tears or something, but like I wasn't amputated, but I'm allowed to be sad with my scars. Hello, but then they make it seem that see, no, since the situation is small, it shouldn't be. I'm just talking to someone here. If you are in a situation where you feel sad and depressed, my sister and brother, you are the only one that can get yourself out of it. The things you can help yourself with, please do. I had scars, I had to start using scar creams. I lost weight, I had to eat, so I'll be fat, more fat, but like back to how I looked. I was getting darker. I changed my cream. I was like, I didn't bleach your please. I know bleach. I know too. I know bleach. I will draw you small cream. It's tiny, 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 tiny cream I use. Oh, I'm just saying, like, <laughs> like, do you get? I didn't use the biggest cream ever, but like, I got myself out of it. I went out to cover myself with new jobs, like, simple every day. First day when I got to the new job, people were like, ah, what happened to your feet? Ah, I sat them down, gave them load down of the gist. Show them pictures of the accident. Ah, thank God for your life. The next day when they came, when I came to work, nobody asked me. Third day, nobody asked me. First day, no. and it's not a week. Nobody have asked me what happened to your face because they have used to it. I, somebody can. I cannot kill myself. I cannot come and die. I'm just saying, don't kill yourself. Life will move on without you. So if you are feeling sad, you're feeling depressed, you are feeling like ah, nobody cares about me. Please care about yourself. Love yourself. Be proud of your own skin. I have scars all over my body now, but guess what? I can't make up. So, guess what? I'm moving out. I'm going out. I even did a YouTube video. Like I'm doing a YouTube video with Aurora Face. Like, putting a video to the out to the entire world with Aurora Face. That is the peak of self acceptance. You can do it, my brother. You can do it, my sister. Here is your turn. Do it. Sometimes people that see me this active say it's a defense mechanism. It could be, it could be a defense mechanism, but it's working for me a step at a time, a day at a time. I'm getting better. I'm better physically. I had an x-ray like sometimes ago, like last month. My bone, top notch bone, my bone is doing fine. But mentally, I'm getting there a day at a time. Hope I do not just come in, come around and say nonsense. I hope somebody has been blessed. I hope somebody has been blessed here. So it's time for offering. Offering time, blessing time. I'm just joking. Thank you so much for watching. I still remain D to the E to the K to the E to the M. I take care of me. Peace out.